So we all know that Devontae Adams is going to be getting traded by the Raiders to another team at some point in the near future. The question really becomes, what do the Raiders get for him? Now, I've seen in the comment sections of my videos, people wondering why the Raiders would give up Devontae Adams for as low as a second round draft pick when we gave up a first and a second round draft pick for him just a couple of years ago? Well, the question is really simple and easy to answer. We're going to get into that in today's video. Now, when it comes to Devontae Adams' trade value right now, there's a couple of things that you have to take in consideration that teams are going to be looking at. Number one is that he's getting a little bit long in the tooth, being 32 years old, as a wide receiver in the NFL. His production is down, and I understand that you can blame that on the quarterback situation that the Raiders have had pretty much since they let go of Derek Carr. And he is also going to get paid an awful lot of money come next season as well as the season after. So any team looking at Devontae Adams right now has to take into consideration that they're going to have to renegotiate his contract for one because he's simply going to be way too expensive for his age. And number two, they have to be concerned about his health. He's had a hamstring injury now twice in the season, once in the preseason, and currently he is going through rehab on a hamstring injury right now. Is that hamstring injury for real? Is this just a tactic that he is using not to play for the Raiders because he's already made it clear? Only him and God know the truth about that. So we'll just leave that as it may be. So we'll just leave that as it is. So what are teams going to offer the Raiders for a guy like Devontae Adams? Well, it could range from a first round draft pick and the Raiders throwing in Devontae Adams as well as a third round draft pick. It could go from a second round draft pick straight across the board. It could be a player for a player with a minor draft pick, maybe in the third, fourth, or fifth round. Who knows what the end result is going to be. But one thing that I wanted to address in this video is we've got to get out of the mind state of why do we always buy high and sell low when it comes to these players? And I'm going to illustrate why that is a fact across the board. And this is something with all teams across the NFL. This is not something that is just with the Raiders where we're always losing out on these trade deals. No, it's not. It's across the board. If you go and buy a brand new car at a dealership, second you drive that car off the lot, it loses 10% in value. Every mile that you put on that car, it is lowering the value. Every single time that you have to have the tires changed, every little dent, every little scratch that it gets, every wear and tear on the bearings and the wheels and the engine and the transmission, that is all lowering the value of that vehicle. And when it comes to players in the NFL, it's kind of a similar situation. The longer they're in the NFL, there's more wear and tear on their bodies. And as this wear and tear continues to stack up on individual player availability to play for you as an organization starts to decrease. And you're only as good as your availability. If you're not available, it doesn't matter. Listen, it comes to Devontae Adams with Derek Carr. He had his second best season of his entire career, but the Raiders still lost a lot of games. We had a lot of issues. Darren Waller, hamstring issues, Hunter Renfro, concussion issues, Josh McDaniels, human being issues. So we didn't win a lot of games and Derek Carr was cut. Ever since then, Devontae Adams has been unhappy. He was unhappy with Jimmy Garoppolo. And I would say he was a little bit comforted by AOC, but still not feeling super confident at the end of the day especially when all we did is go and bring in a perennial backup from another team and make him the starter over the backup that Devontae had built at least some chemistry with last season. And now he has made it very clear, officially requesting a trade from the team, and people are now wondering, well, why hasn't it happened? As I've said and others have said, this is going to take place very quickly. Well, it hasn't happened yet, and the reason is very simple. 
Teams are looking at Devontae Adams right now, and if they were to make the deal and sign him today, that's going to cost them a million dollars for him not to play on Sunday. Why is he not going to play on Sunday? Because his hamstring is still not 100%. And now teams are like, well, we'll wait until after Sunday, and that way we won't have to eat that much money for a guy that's not even going to have a chance to play for us come this Sunday's games. So after that, he should be much better. Remember, his hamstring injury was just a funny feeling in his hamstring. He didn't actually go and pull it all the way. He didn't damage himself, and he's been taking it easy kicking back on his couch, sipping on some iced tea and watching college football and talking to Kay Adams on the Up and Adams show, stirring up all kinds of controversy. So it's going to be after week five before any team even gets Devontae Adams on their team and has him start producing for them. So they're probably not going to want to give up a first round draft pick unless there's more than just a Devontae Adams. So is this a net loss for the Raiders giving up a first and a second round to bring him here plus a bunch of money? Or is it just par for the course? Well, I would say it's just par for the course. This is the NFL. If you go out and you get a superstar and you trade for him, you're going to pay a lot for him. But at the end of the day, a couple of years later, when you try to trade him, you're not going to get near as much back as you paid. And that's just the name of the game. It's life. It happens with anything that is used. And unfortunately, Devontae Adams is a little bit of a used product when it comes to the NFL now. Age and his cost are prohibitive for a lot of teams. But there are a few teams who are interested in Devontae Adams as we speak right now. And according to my source, Devontae Adams is very excited to try and go to the San Francisco 49ers, to the Dallas Cowboys, and the New Orleans Saints, and he even made a little joke about going to the Chiefs. Yeah, I don't think the Raiders would ever trade Devontae Adams to an interdivision rivalry. However, it is a possibility, and I will say it's a possibility for one reason. The Chiefs right now are trying to three-peat. They're trying to create history, and the Chiefs are down on receivers. Xavier Worthy has been showing out as a rookie, but he's still just a rookie, and after that, they really haven't had a whole lot of production. Having Devontae Adams would certainly be a major boost for their hopes to get to a three-peat in the Super Bowl. But what would the Raiders charge them to do this? Well, we know that they're desperate for a wide receiver. We know that they're desperate to try and make history. And therefore, this could be the only situation where the Raiders actually get more back than we paid. And why is that? Because I think that the Raiders would demand two first round draft picks from the Kansas City Chiefs in order to trade Devontae Adams. And I think that the Chiefs are so desperate to try and make that three-peat and make history that they would actually go for that. So time will tell and see what happens. Will the Raiders actually help the Chiefs make history and three-peat by giving them Devontae Adams? I sure hope not. I would love the two first round draft picks, but you also got to remember those two first round draft picks are going to be dead last in the first round. We're talking pick 30, pick 31, pick 32. It's almost as though it's a second round draft pick anyway. So even getting two of those is not going to amount to a whole lot when it comes to getting a franchise quarterback. However, if you stack those up and you trade those with our first round draft pick, let's say we're picking... 10 to 15, you want to get into pick number one or two, you could trade those three first round draft picks, get all the way up to number one or two, and go get your franchise quarterback. So let me know how you guys feel about this Devontae Adams trade, and would the Raiders trade him to the Kansas City Chiefs?